Hello everyone. Welcome to another day in the car with Jules. Today I am talking some more about the missing boys Orson and Oren West ages three and four who were born as classic and sincere Pettis. Oren was born as sincere Pettis and Orson was born as classic Pettis but they were adopted in 2019 by Jacqueline and Trezel West, and their names were made Oren and Orson West. Their adopted parents reported them missing on December 21st, and since then, a lot of people have been looking into it, trying to find these kids. I watched AV Watchmen United We Stand again today. They had another video that I'm linking and I studied this one closely because remember another video that I linked of theirs, they went to a neighbor of the West's who not only had footage from the 21st, but also had footage from the 19th of December, the footage on the 21st, the footage from the 21st showed that at 431, the van was sitting there parked in front of the house, the way it always is. And at 432, the passenger door was opened and Trezel got in the van. At 433, he drove away, heading east and made a right turn. Apparently, he drove in a loop around the neighborhood. And according to an, the newest AV Watchmen United We Stand video, it would take four minutes to drive the loop. It took six that day. And we'll find out why in a few minutes. At 439, Trezel returned to the property. And at 440... He got out of his van and he stood by a tree in his front yard and he stood there for 13 minutes. He was not seen searching the yard or anything when he came back. He just stood there for 13 minutes while he was waiting for the police to respond to his call. In his interview, he said that they searched and searched for the boys, that he and his wife both searched and that it was getting dark and he knew he needed help, so he called the police. But I find it really odd that he just stood there for 13 minutes. I mean, if his wife was in the house, if he was out looking for the kids, they've got cell phones, the police could get there, the wife could talk to the police, and, and Trezel could have been reached by the phone and come back to talk to the police as well. But that's not what happened. Anyway, 4.40, he's standing at the tree for 13 minutes. At 4.52, the police did arrive. At 4.53, Trezel hopped back in the van and he went and searched the exact same route that he was already seen searching in the neighbor's video. At 4.54, the second officer arrived and also was doing the search. And that's really weird that Jacqueline was not seen on the neighbor's camera, which would have caught her if she came out of the house. And it just really is setting off like warning bells inside me. And I'm wondering if you guys are feeling the same way about that. Anyway, in the new video, they went and talked to neighbors. They walked the neighborhood. For one thing, they were trying to figure out whether Trezel always went that same route. Even on the 19th, when they were seen going to Baker's. Well, they said they were going to Bakersfield when they left. They were seen leaving. They left the house around 1130 a.m. And at that time, we saw that the two adults and four children came out of the house, meaning two kids were unaccounted for. And they returned at 345 p.m. That was weird because, like I said, four kids when they're supposed to have had six. And if anyone knows... When the kids went on their trip to grandma's, please comment below because either the two little ones already weren't accounted for or the two oldest maybe were already at grandma's or something and the four we saw leaving the house were the four youngest. You know, which kids were with them on the 19th. Anyway, near the eight minute mark in the newest video from the AV Watchmen United We Stand. They talked to a neighbor and there was a lot of cameras seen on her house, but she told the AV Watchman 
guy that police didn't want her footage and that she is the only person that ever reported seeing Trezel driving on that street in the in that direction when you know the footage from the other neighbor that we got to see that that was shared on AV Watchman did not ever show Trezel that night driving the path that she stated that he did while they're going around asking the other neighbors nobody else saw the van in person or when looking over their footage on the street going the direction that that one lady reported and at the 20 minute and 48 second mark they talked to some other people who said that they did not see the white van in their footage and they weren't home and that the cops never spoke to them and then i started thinking about the fact that wow you know maybe there were a lot of people that were not home at the time that these kids went missing and boy isn't it convenient that there was no kids in the house except for the two little ones and all the neighbors were either a away or had their cameras off you know it, it just a very unfortunate series of circumstances then at the 45 minute two second mark we find out that someone else has footage where on the day that the kids went missing on that drive the the six minute drive where Trezel said he was out looking for the kids the van stopped in the area of the abandoned house which is kind of behind the west house and a couple houses over and we also learned that the police have not searched that abandoned house that they say they do not have probable cause and so they can't search it at the 48 minute mark they talked to the neighbor that lives in the house that is directly behind the west home and she states that she has not seen or heard any kids in the backyard of the West Home. And she says that she keeps her slider doors open that are over there in the backyard, which has a shared fence with their backyard. So she would hear any kind of commotion over there. And she never saw or heard any children in the backyard. She did not hear Trezel throwing wood. And I also watched Nora Jasmine's video. And she reported that people did not want to talk about the case. And the ones that were willing to talk about the case did not want to talk to her on camera. But what she's learned also is that no one she talked to has ever seen or heard any of the children and the mom the adoptive mom has been seen out in front of the house with the dog smoking a cigarette i don't know how you guys feel about psychics but several have stated that they are feeling that the boys are near horses or a ranch and that made me think of silver saddle which is there in california city and during the interview with the chief of police, someone in the audience around him asked whether he had heard the rumor that neighbors were saying that they saw the West van near Silver Saddle on Sunday the 20th. Also, there were reports that remains were found, and I can confirm that they are not Orin or Orson West. Channel 23 News out of Bakersfield states, according to the California City Police Chief, the remains are not related to the missing West Boys case. We have to keep open minds. Please share your ideas and comments below. And I just want to say thank you for watching Another Day in the Car with Jules.